All right, so this is our first uh, prototype circuit. Uh, what we did was dismantle uh, a leaf blower uh, to find a three-phase brushless DC motor with a blower uh, and a housing already ready to go. The way this uh, ventilator works is we have high pressure coming in to these two pressure regulators. These two pressure regulators are setting the two pressure levels that we need for a ventilator. On a ventilator, you have a, a peak pressure, which they call PIP, and a low kind of offset pressure that they call PEEP. So this is our PIP valve, this is our PEEP valve. But, woohoo! Right on, yes, everybody, woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, no, to, to get pressure up, slow down. Up, slow down, the current should go down too. It, it should, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Go. Still 800 milliliters, right? Yeah, it's just your icon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, now we're way too low. Oop, yep. System's telling me alarms are working. Peak in the peak down below, it's setting the value that you want, um, and that sets where the alarm limits are in the machine. Right. And then you dial these to get the actual pressures. So it's, uh, in, in a way, these are, the alarms are based on your target values. All right, here we're going. Hey, Dave, come on over. And... chamber on the side is a suction chamber. This this yeah. chamber is what? Um, are you are you pointing to the little uh, um, nebulizer thing? A trap of some kind. I wonder if there's too much turbulence because of this. Uh, yeah. You're gonna need adapters. For, uh, yeah. So you need to. We are designing an easy and rapidly mass manufacturable ventilator device, and it is a crazy project. We have the potential to save human lives, people that we might know, our neighbors, our families, and that intensity, um, it's amazing. It's amazing. And as stressful as this has been for everybody in the last couple of weeks, um, not one of us can stop. This crisis is unprecedented in our lives and, uh, and requires unprecedented action. I I'm so amped up. I mean, it really, the adrenaline rush, it's exciting, but it's exhausting. And I think we all just want to do everything we can to try to help. I think that uh, what JPL brings to the table um, uh, is, is extraordinary talent. It also brings to the table tremendous innovation. The third thing it brings to the table is tremendous focus. I see it in our team, and that is a call to duty. I have this talent. I'm an engineer or a scientist. I can do something. And that to me is what is driving. It's a call to duty not just for the U.S. or the, the world. And we have a certain talent. We have a certain can-do uh, attitude. And this just caught up 
at the grassroots level? I would say the biggest personal challenges that I have myself is uh, I don't have time to sleep. 